I'm Elizabeth Troutman. Thank you for visiting my studio today. I'm so excited to be the very first artist to have a studio here at McAllister Square. It used to be a mall and now it's an educational center that Greenville Tech Foundation owns. So this space is large. I have two rooms. I have a beautiful gallery space and teaching studio and I also have in the back a working space. So one of my favorite textile processes is eco printing. So I started this when I was walking and I realized that the leaves were printing on the sidewalk. And I thought, wait, that has to be able to work on fabric. So I started researching it and I found out, yes, indeed, it does work on natural fibers. So this is an example of wool, cotton, and silk using various mordants or modifiers to change the colors. Eco printing involves a chemical reaction between the tannins and the plant and the mordant, which is a metallic salt such as alum, copper. There are very many different options for you. So for this one, for instance, I, I dyed the background with walnut dye that I had made from walnuts on the ground in my house. I cooked them in a crock pot for a couple days and made my own dye and I did some very light eco printing on that. I wanted it to be a subtle look. This, I dyed the background first with turmeric and I put sumac leaves on it, were dipped in iron and steamed this one for an hour and a half. I dyed all three of these scarves in cochineal and they were all this color, but the things that I used to, to dip the leaves in changed the colors, that changed the pH by using vinegar, baking soda, or cream of tartar. So we go from pink to lavender to purple. So I really love the, the possibilities with eco printing. Sometimes it's a surprise, like for instance, I tried to do poinsettia leaves for the first time in my last little branch of poinsettia that's alive, and I got these beautiful reds that I'm very proud of. And it's just nature, it is art, it is, brings beauty of the outside world into a beautiful, lovely, soft object. So I just wanted to share with you what I like to do. I really love to paint. I love to play with the fabrics. I hope to teach classes when this pandemic ends. And please make an appointment to come see my studio anytime. Bye.